XPM Datuk Sri Najib Razak's defence team chalked up two victories today as his SRC international trial marches on. Firstly, the High Court allowed Najib's application for access to information and documents of his Ambank Bank accounts for the purpose of preparing his defence. Judge Mohammad Nazlan Mohammad Ghazali said that the MACC should not prevent the bank from releasing the information to ensure a fair trial. The judge added that the former Premier, who celebrated his 66th birthday at the court, House today was entitled to information and documents provided by the bank. But, on the other hand, MACC is not prevented from seizing documents and information as authorised under the MACC Act. Secondly, Justice Nazlan has allowed the defence to refer to prosecution witness Joanna Yu Ping's draft witness statement to compare with the one tendered and signed by her yesterday. The defence team intends to scrutinise the inconsistencies between the two statements. Yu revealed at trial today that she was instructed to quit the bank in 2015. She was the Ambank Relationship Liaison Manager for Najib's accounts and was said to have had contact with fugitive Low Tech Joe. Kazana National has hired Morgan Stanley to explore strategic options for Malaysia Airlines, according to a report from Bloomberg. The investment bank will be responsible for looking at options for the airline, including a potential stake sale. Quoting people familiar with the matter, Bloomberg reports that Kazana aims to get the deal done by the end of the year. However, discussions are still ongoing and details, including the timeline, could still change. When contacted, Kazana said that it was currently evaluating all strategic options to reflect the performance of the ailing flag carrier. Morgan Stanley declined to comment. PM Tun Dr. Mahdi Mohammed said this month the government is studying four proposals it received for the airline from local investors. PM Tun Dr. Mahdi Mohammed says the government will speed up the process of enacting a new Consumer Credit Act to protect consumers and encourage a healthy credit market. He says this is important given that the current household debt stood at 82.1% of Malaysia's GDP. In comparison, this is higher than other countries with higher income per capita like Italy at 40.3%, Japan at 58.1% and the US at 76.3%. The PM was speaking at the National Finance Literacy Strategy 2019 to 2023, which is focused on empowering individuals to manage and invest their money wisely for the future. Mahade explains that although the risk of household debt on domestic finance is under control, there are signs of difficulty in repaying loans, especially among those earning less than 5,000 ringgit monthly and living in urban areas. Hence, the importance of increasing financial literacy among the general public and the formation of the new consumer credit law will strengthen the protection framework for credit consumers. Masin Group has acquired a 5.47-acre piece of land in Mukimbatu, Taman Metropolitan, Kapong for about 94.8 million ringgit. The land is earmarked for development comprising service departments with an estimated GDV of 705 million ringgit known as M Luna. Masin says that the most affordable units would have an indicative built-up from 700 square feet and an indicative starting price from 385,000 ringgit. Founder and Group MD Tan Sri Loeng Hoi Kam says the land acquisition is the group's second for 2019 and reflects its ability to acquire reasonably priced prime land that is ready for quick turnaround. This buy brings Ma Sing's land bank to 2,101 acres with total remaining GDV and unbilled sales of 25.84 billion ringgit. ARB's wholly owned subsidiary Arbiot has entered into a memorandum of agreement with two China companies, Hangzhou Mayam IoT Tech and Shuifa IoT Tech, for the provision of water supply related technology with a combined project value of around 800 million ringgit. For the MOA with Hangzhou, Arbiot will deploy smart water meters in Malaysia to collect and analyze real time water consumption data. The project is valued at 200 million ringgit and Hangzhou will supply the necessary funding. 
The collaboration with Shrifa, worth some 600 million ringgit, is for the installation of smart household water filtration system that can be supplied to the public and individuals. ARB CEO Datuk Larry Liu Kok Leong says that the company will leverage on Hangzhou's technological know-how to help Malaysia's water companies to better manage water resources. As for the Shrifa MOA, ARB is targeting to install the system in 300,000 residential units. Thank you.